Okay, I'm going to walk through part B now of number one on the chapter six study guide. Now this one's asking you to reflect our initial shape here. You're going to be reflecting it across the line y equals one. This is what's been tripping a lot of people up, so I'm going to take a moment to talk about this. Now what you should do first is try and identify where y equals one is some, you know, where is y equals one? Right here. Well, my y-axis, I have a value of one right here. So what, actually I'm going to do that in a much clearer differentiating color. Let's go with green. All right. So now the key is where does this line come in? It's not just about a point. You have to make a line here. So what I can think about here is where can I find points where my y-coordinate is going to be one? Well, if I go right here, that gives me a coordinate of 1, 1. That would work. I can go all the way over here, get a coordinate of 8, 1. Guess what? My y value is still 1 over here. I can even go in my other direction here. I can go to negative 7, positive 1. And chances are you're noticing that all these points are falling on the same horizontal line right here. This is where that line would be. Let me make it a bit thicker. Why not, right? Oh, right here. So this is going to be my line of y equals 1. I know it's a little tricky because you get an equation of y equals 1, you'd expect it to look horizontal, I mean, vertical, but instead it ends up being horizontal. But the way to think about it is every single point on this line, x coordinates do not matter, the y coordinate is always going to be 1. Now the reflection part, believe it or not, this is fairly easy, not a lot of math involved here. Basically, I look at A, I figure, okay, A is one point above my reflection line. So I'm going to go down one, and here goes A2. Now I take a look at B, two, two uh, skips away almost, or two units. I'm going to go down two units. One, I'm going to make a little leap there, whoops. One, two, boom, that takes me to B. And then for C, it's one, two, three units, and I can do that again. One, two, three. Right here. And just let me double check, because something doesn't seem right. I'm going to double check that. Let's double check that again. One unit away for A. Good. Two units for B. One, two. Good. One, two. Now for C. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Glad I checked that. So that would be C2, B2, and A2 right here. And I connect them, and what do you know? It's the same shape, same size, congruent, just reflected across that new line I created of Y equals 1. Again, I think I showed a great example of why it's always good to double-check yourself, double-check those counts, but hopefully it would, the, um, the biggest value uh, challenge excuse me, was getting that line. Once you get that... Reflection isn't bad, so hopefully this helps.